Today we're looking at one of our 500 gallon per day Nuico Singular treatment tanks. This is a two piece tank. So there's a top and a bottom piece and a middle seam. We also have this tank as a monolithic, which means the seam is at the very top. We're looking on the inlet side of the tank. And as you can see, we have one down the center of the tank and then one about a foot off the corner on the left hand side. and another inlet off the corner about 12 inches as well on this side. We use 5,000 PSI concrete and Conceal Butyl Rubber between the seams to keep it watertight. And you can notice we have plastic risers poured on top of the tank for easy access and for aesthetically pleasing look once you bring it to ground level. This tank is very unique in that it has a 45 degree slope at the outlet side of the tank, which is very unusual. And this is for the sludge that may make it into the clarific clarification chamber, which is the last compartment of the tank, for it to slide back into the second compartment tank where treatment happens. Now on these tanks, we only have one outlet it's down the center on the end because that's where the biokinetic filter is located. So if you have to turn the tank you'll need to use one of the side inlets um, because you can only come out the outlet side of this tank. Now we're on top of our tank in our yard so this is not an install tank but kind of walking you through the different parts of it. We're looking at the inlet side of the tank right now so we have it brought up to grade with plastic risers and then a green cover and then we leave the concrete cover inside of the tank uh, so there's less likely of somebody falling in into the tank. Now the small cover you see next to it is a cover that allows access to the baffle between the two compartments in case for some reason um, that gets clogged or something happens we still leave access but that's really needed so we don't put a plastic riser around that. That would just have to be dug up if required. Now let's remove this. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. That's the end inlet. And what you would do is you take your piece of pipe from the house, you'd slide it into this tank, and you'd put the baffle right in the center of this cover so if it ever got clogged or needed to be replaced uh, you have access as soon as you open the cover. Put down into this see if we can see anything. This is a 450 gallon compartment and it holds the solids before it goes into the next compartment. And there's part of the baffle. Now the next compartment is the treatment tank section where the aerator sits and goes down. As you can see on this concrete riser that sticks out of the tank 18 inches, there's notches. And where those notches are is where the handles for the aerator sit so the aerator can sit inside of this concrete riser. I'll show a picture of that and kind of shows you there's a shaft at the end of the aerator that spins and it has blue uh, tips that have low air out from it and uh, creates uh, a current inside of the tank where um, you have suspended growth that occurs every time the aerator is running. Now the last compartment is where the biokinetic filter sits and I have one right here that was brought back from a job site so it's a little dirty. There's, as you can see, that black uh, gasket and what that black piece does is it slides into this gray receiver that was poured when we made the tank. 
and it slides right down and at the very bottom is the outlet hole going into the leach field so I'll show that installed but it slides right down in and locks and we'll go from there now this is with the filter installed there's two parts there's an inner filter where you see with the handles and then there's an outer, outer filter that those black circular tabs are and what we do next is these tabs rotate with a tool we have and there's notches that they slide into so it holds the filter into place so it doesn't float and then we unlock them when we're servicing the system now the aerator sits on those tabs and needs to sit level so when it's spinning it's balanced if not it can decrease the life of the motor now where the aerator sits down in there's a yellow plug that comes out of it that is a watertight connection the electrician will wire from the house to the control panel outside and from the outside control panel to our aerator at the end of it there's a yellow plug that is connected you connect those two together and it makes a watertight connection in case for some reason you have flooding inside of your tank now that's not a permanent solution because it's only made for temporary flooding if there's an extended period of time of flooding in your tank that can cause issues so that's why it's important when your alarm goes off for you to reach out to your service provider 